Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in again. Last time we played as Ipecac. What? No. That's stupid. Azazel. I'm stupid. I just read Ipecac and uh, my brain. My brain did scrambled. My brain done be scrambled. Anyways. Randomize again. We just did Tainted Isaac. Uh, Tainted Apollyon though. He is a fun lad. Let's give him a go. Uh, I do like Tainted Apollyon. He has his custom Abyss Plus Plus Wisps. Which make him a lot more fun than he normally would be. Um, but yeah, that Azazel run was an absolute blast. I had so much fun on that run. My god. I wish we'd have gotten uh, more Rotten Hearts and kept them, but, but otherwise, a very fun run. And we got the Leech. Honestly, the Leech is a very, very suckable item. Do not dare steal another charge from me, you absolute cretins. Do not dare. But, I'm going to say, is, Leech is very suckable, but at the same time... The leech is invincibility, <laughs> pretty much. It's It gives you so much abilities to heal that I think it's completely worth taking. Uh, it's unlikely that we're going to need that ability to heal that often, but for like playing blood donation machines and stuff, it's really good. Do forget that this guy does start out with pretty piss poor stats. And yeah, honestly, another thing as well. Oh god, bad damage, but there you go, we're healed up already. Um... One one other thing about the leeches as well, it's like it's not the best damage in the world, but it does pretty good damage. Like it's not it's not any damage to tear your nose about. I just can't believe that leeches are gas. I, I like I don't know if it changed from repentance or if it has always been like this, but I can't believe leech is a guaranteed heal when it kills. I always thought it was like a 50-50. But no, it's 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 a guaranteed heal. Uh which makes it incredible. Because yeah, if we find a blood donation machine, we're, we're golden. Uh, ooh, I kind of, I kind of do want the, the boom there. That would be kind of fun. I, I, I think that that's actually an item that, yet again, a lot of people underrate. Especially if you end up getting something like Cricket's Body out there and, uh, something to increase your tier output. Really pops off, because it, 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 it does a spread pattern on every tier that's in the sky currently. So, if you have a high tier rate or something that's going to produce more tiers from one tier... Really creates a nice um, cascading effect. It's very good. Do appreciate the fact that we do start with one um, one wispy here. Get this boy, get this boy. Eat him up now, y'all. Eat him up. Big booms. Uh, secret room on this floor. I think we should definitely take a little look around for it. I mean, the obvious place is within this little nook here. Um, I'm going to go and suss out if that's the case, because it might not be. We also could and will do this, just to guarantee we can get the tier detonator. Because I think it's a, it's a fun item. Yeah, I think, I think this is likely to be the secret room. There you go. And we get ourselves Justice, which is great for us right now. This actually sets us up nicely. Uh, and then we also get a Tower card, which is actually... It's got some, it's got some usage. It's, it's got some definite usage here. Um, because this room just below us, we can get a card and a key out of it if the, if the tower goes right. Although, I will say, the bombs often do land right here where I'm sat. Yeah. There's a, it's a bit of an issue. I don't know if it's like a bug, but it tries to plant them around the center of the room and it treats it as if it's one of these big square rooms like this and tries to plant them in the middle so it gets them all around that corner. So that was a bit of a bust, but what else do you really use tower cards for? I think this is our second secret room. Let's try that out. There you go. And we get ourselves a hanged man and the moon. I think I'd rather take the moon right now, to be honest. Likely to be a bit better for us next floor. Uh, Leechy buddy, can you uh, get in on these dudes? Thank you. Okay, let's go. Yeah, unfortunately, tier detonator with this tier level, as you just saw, can be very useless. But it's it's an investment. I'm taking it for later, for it to be potentially to be good. That was not a good hit by me there. I kind of expected my uh, my little poop friend to block that, and he did not. But yeah, tier, tier detonator, we might never use it, but for 7 cent, it's kind of an investment. We, we've we got the potential for it to end up being very, very good. I think it's very worth taking for that reason. I would very much like to destroy that for a wisp, but I honestly think we do need the HP. We start off with lower than normal on this character, and we've got pl plenty of time to abyss things. 
A dice room here is an interesting prospect. It is a one room. I wouldn't say that I'm super hyped to reroll my stuff right now. What the hell is that? Blood Splosion. Enemies have a 50% chance to explode and create a pool of red creep upon death. The explosion deals three times your current damage explosions cause. Ooh, we gotta we gotta take that. Okay, probably well, I, I'm now that I've taken this, I'm probably not gonna one room. But when we kill an enemy, it's got a chance to explode. That sounds intriguing. Oh, oh, that, that is a that is a literal bomb explosion. But doesn't hurt us too. This could be very lucrative. <laughs> Sounds like a very interesting item to get early on. I like it. Also, it's gonna make um it's gonna make our little leech fella a little bit better, because he's gonna be able to create um effects that sort of run down the chain. Kill one enemy, then kill another sort of thing. It seems like it's a relatively common occurrence too. It's like a one in one in three effect sort of thing. Okay, we, we're probably going to lose our devil deal here. I'd have to bet. Yeah, uh, that is unfortunate. Especially considering all enemies were dead when I lost it. Okay. The, yes. Okay, I know we're not abasing anything right now, but we are, we are getting some good items right now. I really hope we get a tears up though soon. Yeah, this 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 blood explosion effect is incredibly strong. I love it. I mean, it was a tier four item, so I expect nothing less. But oh, the the mind plus uh, tainted azazel looks weird. Sadly, not much to gain out of that. I will check our shop though, nonetheless. <gasps> fierce mask. Oh, I have to try and find a way to get that fierce mask. The tainted fierce mask as well is. Very, very strong. Um, right, let's let's take a little peeky peek and see what we can get. First of all, let's destroy some poops here. I will spend some extra time on this floor if I have to to try and get that. I think we did have a um, penny-eyed keeper within here. We did indeed. So he is he is sort of a last resort option. I really should have moon card actually on this floor. It would have saved us some some uh, trouble. We only have one bomb as well, which is problematic. Hmm. Two pennies there. Reflected penny here, which we for some reason can't grab. That's annoying considering. Oh, actually, the spikes closed. Okay. There's a good chance we'll get our our nickel here. I'm really hoping we do. Just so we can get the fierce mask, because it's gonna give us spirit sword and the boss fights and a lot of stats, which is just very, very nice. So I'm really hoping this gives us the nickel. You bastard. It didn't. I can't believe it. So annoying. It almost always gives you it. And this time, we got unlucky. But this uh, this should actually be not too hard of a boss fight because we've got the explosions coming in from the uh, from the blood explosion thing that's going to be affecting the leeches that stay quite close to his person. Yeah, as you can see, that's a. It, it, it definitely seems like the explosions don't do full explosion damage, but that's completely understandable. It's that relatively common. Leech is doing a great job right now, honestly. Cracker Jacks. I think we'll take that too, I'll be honest. Ah, oh. I'm very upset that we're not going to be able to um to get Fierce Mask. It's very good. I'd love to re-roll stuff, but I just can't re-roll what I've got right now. I'm not going to go Devil Deal here. Let's just go down to the next floor. That is a crying shame. A crying shame. Do you know what? Let's pop this straight away. It's a lot of bombs. Okay, this is kind of a hard room here, especially with this dude duplicating himself multiple times as you can see on oh, no. yeah we're, we're not keeping our devil deals and stuff here this is a really hard room i don't know if it's those tainted enemies but i'm getting considerable lag and uh, not tainted those um champ custom champion enemies but i'm getting considerable lag in this room and now that they're gone the lag's gone so maybe maybe that is the case oh i'm an idiot <laughs> <laughs> I just completely misjudged where that secret room was. 
Ow. Don't worry about taking red heart damage apart from the ones that, that does soul heart. Uh, the one that takes away our devil deal because we can easily heal back up. Cursed Eye. I think Cursed Eye is our first Abyss pull. Oh, hello. And do you know what? Three of the same pill. You gotta try it. <laughs> You're so funny, game. You make me laugh so hard. Oh, god damn it. That's so very painful. We really have the worst tears possible right now. Thank god we got all these flies. I don't know how good they're going to be, but we need them. Henry enemies are pretty tough. Whoever designed this Henry enemy, though, absolute genius. I, I can't believe how unfathomably low our tiers currently are. This is so painful. 1.36. The room took so long it fucking opened the doors for us. Are you kidding me? Fruitcake though. Hell yes, fruitcake. Okay, that doesn't save the run, but it significantly increases my enjoyment of the run. Also, accidental rotten heart. Hell yeah. Yeah. Shop, please save us. Shop, please save us. Birthright? If the fire button is held, Locust will continuously damage enemies instead of returning. Hell yes. This could be what we needed. This could be what we needed. We are going to have to try and create more flies, though. Okay, bomb damage there. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that's really good. They proper stick to him. Why is he charmed also? He just jumped straight back in the pit there. He didn't give a damn. That's so good. Tears up. Incredible. Actually, a pretty decent tears up as well. And we are ducking out. Oh my god. This birthright effect might just be the, the saviour of this run. Today this could be... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. They all just stick to the enemy. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. We got some decent stuff in here. If we get Actually, if we get flight, we are popping off in that room. Oh god, oh god. This room is... It's its a room. It's certainly a room. Oh my god, I do not like this. Okay, we, we out of that room. Yeah, they literally just home in on the enemy and stick to them. That's so good. I quite like this. This makes Tainted Apollyon so much more powerful and works really well with Abyss Plus. I love all the new uh, Birthright effects. Thank you. Needed that. Able. Able, able, if you're able. Get turned into a fucking Abyss Fly. Yeah, not having good fire rate is now not even that much of a problem. I mean, we, we fixed it with the uh, tiers up anyways for the most part, but still. We, def we definitely need more bombs right now. Oh my god, that was close. Definitely need more bombs right now. Excuse me, sir. Could you not be stunned? Heart certainly really do much for us here. Ooh, okay, let's try and let's try and play this correctly. Somewhat correctly, at least. This is going to be tough with Leech. He's going to probably mess this up. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I don't know if I can actually do this. Nope, I cannot. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I could. I took the risk. I could not. We'll definitely check this out. 
Okay. Golden bomb. That's nice. That's going to help us out a ton. A lot more bombs. And you can suck up a single pill if you'd like. There you go. Come on, void chest. Do you know what? That's perfectly fine by me. <laughs> right, let's go back over to that other secret room. There's plenty that we can get in there. I mean, we don't have flight, but having golden bombs now puts us in a much better spot. Just trying to suss out any of the other areas where we can yield some benefit here. The hermit is actually pretty good for us right now. We could definitely use the hermit. Liberty cap. Two of cups. No, thank you. Right. Oh, God, I forgot these were still active. Whoopsie. Right. Now we can go one bomb here. One bomb here. That is an ace of hearts. Okay, that's a hanged man. That's great. That's the ace of hearts. This is an a was. Uh, two of spades, sadly not very good. And a skip. We can also use the air walls here to see what we get. And the glitch card to see what we get. Another rotten heart. It's very, very nice for us. And you know what? Let's just turn the rest into ace of hearts. Why not? A black heart and a soul heart. When there's only three things in the room with an ace of hearts. Are you kidding me? That's such a good yield. Oh my god, that's incredible. This is... This runs on fire. How do you guys feel about the um, about all the new birthright effects and stuff so far? What's uh, what's been your guys' experience with them? If you had uh, a lot of fun with them, we'll definitely buy that. If you had a lot of fun with them, is there many that you've uh, tried out and really liked? I know that like um, tainted uh, tainted Lazarus's is really fun. We had that once before. Oh, we got Flyboy in here. Um, I didn't expect that. I'm kind of sad that I used my uh, my Hangman card now. I'll be honest, because Flyboy is a pretty good item. Doubt we're going to be able to get that now. Oh, actually, I, supp I suppose if we can't get it, we can at least still... Um, we can at least still turn it into an item with Abyss. Okay, we definitely want that. Might as well bomb you as well. Boom, bow. I, I know this is going to lower my tears. I know it is. Oh, no, we got a tears up. Hell yes. Uh, we, we didn't even get a damage down either, I don't think. Uh, and then we'll abyss that. It's only a normal fly, but it's better than nothing. Um, and do you know what? Let's go to this floor. We've got the we've got the bombs. Let's go. Kind of doing a weird interweaving path here. Nice. We do need a, a red heart currently to get our crown of light back. Also, it'd be nice to get a speed up at some point too. This is, this is just a beautiful run so far, though. There's a lot going... Yeah, I was just about to say, I'm going to get hit. There's a lot going on right there. Teleported that man off of his podium. I apologize, sir. Give me my red hearts. But yeah, I gotta say, in, in general, what's what's been your guys... Um, it'd be nice to know in the comments what sort of been your guys' thoughts on the, on the new patches altogether. Sadly, that doesn't actually affect us at all. We've got full mapping already. Um, yeah, like, I know that a lot of people have been polarizing on, like, the changes to, like, the D1 nerf that happened recently. Uh, the Echo Chamber nerf. Um, the changes to the donation machine, stuff like that. I know some people are really upset about that. Personally, I think they're all very good nerfs. I think Echo Chamber might have been a little far, considering how rare the item is. Like, I don't think it was needed to be that strong of an F, but it's still a very, very strong item nonetheless. After after I got screwed last time, I ain't taking no pills. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Take us. Was there a heart for sale in here? I don't think there was, was there? No, there wasn't. Okay. Ah, donation machine in that room. We don't have a niche machine currently. Should just swap it with like a mum's dresser or something automatically. Wish it did that. But yeah, extra base damage here from champion belt's gonna be really nice. Tiny Turma is good, but I think the randoms gonna be better. Yeah, Ghost Bombs, I'm actually more happy with that. Ah, 
Ow, what the hell just hit me? Nice. Oh, bandage. I'm going to abyss it. Uh, oh, bandage is good, but I don't think we need it. And we'll go back down to the normal path. Yeah, it's always nice to hear from you, Yog, from you guys what you think about some of the balance changes and patches. I mean, also, what do you think about the uh, the modded experience we've been having on the series so far? Like, is there anything, any mods that you've been seeing that you really, really like? And anything that you see that you really don't like? Anything that you think is too overpowered, too underpowered, all that sort of stuff? Kind of nice to see, get pe other people's opinions as well, see what you guys think. Oh, I should have been letting Leech kill things to heal myself up. Kind of forgot about that. Another Rotten Heart, hell yes. We could go to the Beast. Like, we have the we have the ability to go to with the Trinket. We're pretty well prepared. I haven't been to the Beast in a while, you know, so... I'm certainly tempted. I'm certainly tempted. I'll see how I feel by the end of this floor. It's an interesting prospect. An interesting prospect indeed. God damn. I, I love tier detonator. It's so fun. Once you get to about this tier, uh, this amount of tiers, it's just, it becomes such a powerful item. Fruitcake is dominating this room more than anything right now, though. Fruitcake is too good. God damn it. I keep accidentally blowing up the hosts. I promise I don't mean to. Oh, I just walked right into that. That was so dumb. Look at that. And a black heart as well. Oh, we got a planetarium here? Hello. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, Murray, my curse is hell yes. Ooh. Ancient fragment will now have a 25% chance. Or replacing other consumables. Ancient Fragment buffs boulder, um, boulders while nerfing your character. After using the Ancient Fragment, a Meteor Shower will rain over the current room, damaging enemies. Interesting. And we gain one of these. An Ancient Fragment. Okay. I think I did see this item with Nevername very briefly. Mm okay. Oh my god, it's, it, it, it rains for a while. Oh, hello, baby. Uh, oh, it actually gives us a plum wisp. Look at that. That, that, that may, might look like baby plum, but that's a wisp right there. Okay, so those ancient fragments last a while. Also, Muramycosis plus um, Tia Detonator. Very, very strong. Take this one. Check in here. Sadly, there's not really anything in here that makes it worth doing. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyways. Why not? We've got enough good stuff to make this worthwhile. Ow. And of course, we've already lost our double damage. <laughs> I kind of forgot that our double damage was based on us not getting hit. Look at this guy, he's just farting constantly. Two rainbow hearts. Pretty generous. Yeah, when the Muravicosis shots stick to an enemy, we can then detonate them uh, with our tear detonator to do even more damage and, and plant even more of the tears. Uh, something automatically died there. There's a there's a red poop placed perfectly, I think. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. We're still killing stuff here more than fast enough to be happy. Love this Gishri Sprite. I say it every time, but I cannot understand how much I love it. All of the boss resprites from the mods I'm using are just incredible. Another um thingy. Rotten, uh, rotten Heart. At the minute, I'm kind of all for the Rotten Hearts. Okay, good. 
Especially tier detonator plus um, fruitcake when all the tiers do different effects. It's really good. Okay, good. And this, the fall and respite as well, it's really good. We should actually be planting out some ghost bombs here. They'd be very helpful. The ghosts are going to stick around and help no matter what. Oh, what the hell was hitting me then? What the... Is, oh, that's, that, that creep is active. That was confusing. I thought it was the blood explosion creep. I am big dumb. Goddamn, all the wisps stick... Uh, the flies just sticking to enemies is so good. Like, you, you just get them all on an enemy and there you go. It's just dead. <laughs> We're all stuck to him now. And they keep chasing him too. So even better. His heart's everywhere here as well. Okay, you, you can go first. Excuse me, big fat sir. You've got a lot of health and you need to go. That should not have hit me and you know it, you lying bastard. Oh god, we got both of the ones that are at the top of the screen on the same wave. That's kind of weird. Okay, we got him though. Kernhead. I think Kernhead's worth taking, to be honest. Kernhead's decent enough. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. Oh, I was going to go to the beast fight. I'm stupid. It's okay. Right. To the left, to the left. Okay, now we've got a double damage again. Things should be a lot more easy breezy. I kind of forgot how much having our double damage, how, how much not having our double damage was affecting us. I wonder if we'll see much more of those ancient fragments. Seemed like an interesting idea. Uh, I've only ever seen the tainted version of the item, which again, there we go. Uh, which again is part of the, um, oh for God's sake, part of the, what's it called? Um, Job mod. It has a few of the items as tainted versions. I've only ever seen the tainted versions, so I don't know what the regular version does. The tainted version seems intriguing, at least. I don't know how, I don't know how good it seems, because it's going to lower our player stats, which isn't... Oh, this is one of my rooms. This is a room that is specifically made for re-rolling. Um, it's, it's a rare room, but it, it has absolutely no use unless you can re-roll. It's kind of like a little sort of Troll room that has some niche use. Ow, how did that hit me? Ooh, black sacks could be good. Yes, double the black hearts. I like. Ooh, a booster pack. That's good. A few more ancient fragments. Decrease a random stat between speed, tears, damage, shot speed, and luck. Some meteor shower that lasts 10 seconds. Increase the damage radius and falling balls at uh, duration by one second. Increase the chance. So the more we use, the more we get, the more powerful they get. So I imagine the intention is by the end of it, you end up dominating the whole run. With just these ancient boulder fragment things. But just rain down from the sky forever. So let's uh, let's use one now, and we'll take it into this next room with us. I decreased speed, but by a tiny amount. I'll check this. Pentagram, yeah, I'll take pentagram. Let's go. It seems like a decent item. I don't, I don't think it's really necessary on this run here. As far as planetarium items go, it's, it seems okay. Doesn't seem the best. Seems intriguing, to say the least. It could definitely be an interesting one. That's always a good thing. Something that's a bit more unique and different. We've got a golden penny in here somewhere. Not that I need it. But it does exist. We should definitely check out that arcade, actually, because it could very well have an arcade machine. Um, a claw machine, sorry. Unfortunately, it does not. It does, however, I'll have a lot of red hearts, but we'd have to sacrifice rotten hearts to get them. Don't want to do that. I like my rotten hearts as they are right now. 
God damn, the damage we are dealing right now is absurd. Mini boss time. Boom bow. I don't think we need that. Left hand really isn't going to push this run much further than it's already been pushed. God damn, this run popped off so rapidly. Again, again the tier down here was such a good pickup. You, you, you grab it as an investment. You grab it as a just in case. Coupon bomb. Bombing yourself while in a shop has a 20% chance to remove the price for a random item. Doing this will only deal half a heart of damage. That's a, that's a really interesting one. 20% might be a bit low, but... Because you, you have to use the resource of a bomb and the resource of your HP. So it might be a little low. Otherwise, seems good. I don't know why I picked up Pageant Boy. I really should have sucked it up. Oh, do you know, I was going to go for the Hush fight, but we have very, very low on keys. Let's, um, what time are we on? Yeah, we're on 26 minutes. Let's see if we can get some more keys from this floor. If we can get ourselves up to at least six, then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do it. Also, if I manage to not lose all my HP in the process, because my health is not good right now. My health is not good at all. That's two. Yeah, because these this arcade could provide us with something. Let's just do this for a bit. The dollar. Oh, you cock. It spawned a troll bomb as well. That's not funny. What's going on right now? That guy just insta-killed himself. Okay, this is uh, not looking the best for us. Doesn't look like it really wants us to do the hush fight. Right now. Yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to give up on the idea of the hush fight. I've, I've not got enough health. There's no keys about. We got the dollar. Like, that's, that's not only did I get the dollar, but it bombed me. But not only that, but the next machine I play, which I don't think I've ever seen happen, blew up immediately upon using it. The shell game. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Which is kind of crazy. Right, one moment. Right, we're back. Let's carry on through this floor. We're blasting through. We've got to be careful because we do only have Rotten Hearts ready at the minute, which could lead, to, could could um, cause some disaster to happen if we uh, if we aren't careful. We can't really be taking much more really useless damage that we've been recently taking. I think Kern had just saved me some damage there, actually. Another key's good. Uh, tier detonator? No, 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 no. Tier detonator is big mine. It is big mine. You are not having it. Skip? Nah, whatever. I don't care about skip. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this blood explosion as well has been incredible the, the whole run. It's just so fun. Enemies exploding on death. What, what, what more is there to like? What more could you want? Oh, there you go. That's a health upgrade. Lovely. That's a nice little health upgrade. Right. Let's keep on going down. Keep on going down. Good, good. God damn, these invincible dudes are making it difficult. Oh, what the hell? Ow. When we get a tear stuck to an enemy, it really... It really destroys them. <laughs> pretty, pretty hard. Okay, we, we need to not get hit now, though. We are currently on our rotten hearts, which means we're going to take two full hearts of damage per hit.
a lucky penny and everything. <laughs> that laser beam was close. Okay, these enemies can be a little frustrating. You know what? Let's just get out of here. Holy hell, I'm so glad I finished that room early. Oh no! No! I got hit for so much damage. Fuck. We could actually die on this run now. It was looking so good for so long. But now... It's looking bleak. Gutsy baby. Okay. All stats up and uh, and this is good. I think the other two I'm going to abyss. Oh, that's a lot of flies. Yeah. Mystery. The serious liquid is, is going to pop off pretty hard here. <laughs> going to pop off pretty hard. And also, our health is now looking way better. Way, way better. Gotcha. Um, we can't get that, unfortunately. Bit of a troll secret room. I don't like secret rooms that require you to have flight, but some of them do exist. So there you go. They exist in the base game, too, so... Ah, oh, what the hell did I get hit by then? I think I got hit by some creep. That's the sad thing, and we're not on full red hearts. We're also, we're not only closer to death, we half our damage. And then I get hit again. Good. Rubik's Cube. Solve it, damn it. Okay, uh. Do we want to try and go second secret room here? I think we do. Okay, nice. We killed him last. Great. That's exactly what we needed. Oh, also we got a fragment. That's perfect for the boss. That'll help us out a lot. We've not used a lot of the fragments, so it won't be great. But it'll help out enough. Okay. Alright, let's line this up. Good, good. And there's a red heart there as well. Okay, this, this last floor turned out okay. Let's play with some soul hearts, why not, just in case. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> the machines just keep breaking the moment I touch them. Could, could I, like, use any of the machines for less than a second, please? God damn it. More than a second, should I say, not less than a second. God damn, we've got so many flies. These guys always hit me. Stay, yep, I got hit. I got hit twice. God damn it, these enemies always hit me, as I said. Right, Fragment. We should be absolutely fine here, I think. Well, look at the amount of damage we're doing to him. There you go. Oh, we did get Void. We did get Void. Do you know what? We're on 38 minutes. I've got to try it. We we're on a good run. I don't think this is a great idea, but on such a good run, I think I've got to, I've got to at least attempt it. Just gotta hope we get like health upgrades and soul hearts and stuff. And we'll be fine. Right. Crack the secret room. Nothing much from that. Just don't get hit too much, forehead. This boss over here definitely isn't the void fight, so we can definitely go for that one. I don't like the idea of reap creep in, in my uh, regular rooms, but that's what we're dealing with right now. Come on, give me some hearts, game. Be generous, please. Holy hell, this is a hard room. My goodness. Evil. We do have room galore get adding some tainted enemies to the last floor too. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, black black sack. Give me what I need. Yes, a black heart. That is what I needed right there. Stop. 
Sinner's Heart. This is so good. Plus two black hearts, plus two damage, uh, then times 1.5, grants two range and spectral. Yeah, basically this is um, the Sacred Heart of the Devil Pool. We just got real lucky there. That's a very, very, very good item. Oh, what? That was a... Didn't realize that enemy was actually alive. Ooh, that's a uh, pretty... What the hell keeps hitting me? Can this game chill out for a minute? Do you know what? We should we should keep the dice just in case we do die. 50% chance to come back. Tainted mole people. Oh my god. I just keep getting hit and I don't know why. What the fuck? We're so gonna die. What is this room? Oh, two black hats though. Hell yeah. Back in the game. Back in the game. Oh my god. Spectral's making our tier detonator way better too. Holy water's pretty damn good. Although, do you know what? I'm going to abyss it. I know it's really good, but the, 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 the fly is potentially better. You're a big boy, aren't you? You're a big boy. This could be void. Ooh, hello. Rainbow chest. This could be rather lucrative. Ouija board. Sadly, we've already got spectral, so we're just going to take that. The owl. Yeah. I'll take. I'll take. Yeah, this could be void. I... I don't really care if it ends up being void. It's not good. Delirium is what I meant, not void, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get suck that up. I'm just gonna go do an extra room real quick, and I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you, fella. There you go. And let's move over here. There you go. Don't know if that's going to be anything special. But the thing is, because they stick to enemies now, their damage output potential is just so much higher. That I really think we have to grab all of the uh, possible flies we can. I keep calling them wisps. I know that, but whatever. Just leave me alone. Good. How is that heart? That eye was alive for way too long there. And I'm getting hit way too much right now. <gasps> Mom's knife. Uh, do we even want it though? No, we've got we've got to try and wisp it. We've got to try and uh, turn it into a fly. Sorry, not wisp it. Uh, we've got to abyss it. Because I don't know what Mom's knife abyss could do. But with abyss plus plus, it could be incredible. I imagine he's done some pretty strong synergies for those sort of ones. It gave us just a regular black fly. Sort of grey fly, should I say. But could end up being really good, so. We gotta try it. Charge baby. Actually, I'm kind of down to take charge baby right now. Because we're not ch getting charges that often. And I'd like them more often. Okay, we've cleared out one side of the floor. Holy hell, these things are strong. They are not dying. Oh, 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 rotten heart. I don't think I can now. I think you've left it too late, game. Oh, full mapping. Haha. <laughs> like we need that. I like the, uh, the baby plum uh, fly. Plus the fact that we've got the, um... The thing where it just sticks onto an enemy. So Baby Plum's just like hanging onto the enemy. <laughs> I found that really funny for some reason. Yeah. 
the lamb. Oh my god. That's a lot of tears on you, lamb. Who's my little lammy lammy? Oh my god, the brimstone. Wasn't expecting it. Health wasn't looking so good, but we got a lot of hearts from killing that guy. Halo for Lies as well was a kind of must take right now. It's a bit of extra protection that we didn't have before. I think any time we get any of that, we should we should uh, look into taking it. Brownie. Easy, easy. Wooden spoon. I think we're going to take that and uh, abyss it. Don't think we need much more speed. Our speed isn't great, I'll be honest, but I'd rather have more flies right now. We've got an absolute army of them so far. And I want even more of an army of them. Judgment. Eh, Judgment could end up being kind of good, actually. Let's pop the Judgment and see what we get. Ah, god damn it. I was hoping for a normal one to get some health upgrades. God damn. Okay. Nice. So we, we, we actually got to go to the, the boss last. We got all the items we could possibly get. Uh, Isaac is sad. Display X Y statements on uncleared rooms. Statements affect you and you. Uh, okay. Yeah, why not? Why not? Isaac is strong. Plus damage. Let's hope we get a good one for this. Oh, we don't get one at all. Maybe it's just in normal rooms. Just remember that um, Tear Detonator, one of the buffs it got in Repentance, it now actually regenerates over the course of a room. You can use it multiple times in one, like, long room. It's a pretty huge buff for it. God damn, you stayed as the foot for a long while there, fella. Yeah, getting to use it multiple times makes it so much more worthwhile in these bigger rooms. We're doing very good damage so far. Very, very good damage, in fact. I think it's just because all our flies are, like, stuck directly on top of it. What are you doing, Delirium, you absolute nonce? God damn. Ooh, we got one of these, too. Pop that. Hell yeah. Oh my god, no boss armor. Delirium, you just fucked up there, buddy. You fucked up. There we go. What a run that was. What a run that was. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Really cool abyss plus uh, birthright synergies there. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.